All right, so here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming. At least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away. Because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, Sambo, he does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if he can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fight. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. Well, this is about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive these into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxing, the high level yeah. from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. All right, now let's get to the tail of the tape for this featherweight tilt. Elkins is eight years his senior. The rest is nearly identical. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Levine. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC featherweight division. If you just approach. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter, holding a professional record of 28 wins, 10 losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Portage, Indiana, USA, Darren, the Damage Elkins. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 143 pounds. Fighting out of Mechacala, Russia, Assassin. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. So here we go with round one. Seems to be a throwback type of matchup here. The classically trained striker taking on the Brazilian Jiu Jitsu black belt. But BJJ black belt with this guy doesn't even begin to describe his credentials. It does not describe how good he is. His vast knowledge of all the Jiu Jitsu positions. This guy, once you're on the ground, there is no place where you are safe. You are constantly getting attacked. He's always throwing up submissions. He's always attacking arms. He's always attacking your neck doing everything to try and make you think submission's coming, even if it's just to change position to secure top. And some nice defensive work being put in by Darren Elkins. Oh. Big kick lands. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Oh, there's a takedown attempt, unable to get the fight to the ground. Nice job by the opponent. Nice job by the opponent, defending the takedown. But now, he is going to have to mix it up again. The first shot will not work. He's got to go one, two, three at a time to try to overwhelm him to give him too much surprise. Double leg, right, so the commitment legs. to the takedown pays off. After several failed attempts, he finally gets his first takedown. Now let's see what he can do with it. 
Elkins has got full mount now. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here. Just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. Well, he's got his back now. Ninety seconds now to go in the round. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra hop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. It's right. very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning the position of the underhook. It opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. All right, he's got him in the north-south position here, DC. When you're in this position, however rare it may be, what are you trying to do? I'm just trying to lay on. I'm just trying to cut air from going to your body. I'm just trying to make you carry my weight. I don't necessarily want to be here. And I don't know if this guy wants to be here right now. He will use this to try to get to the next position. Don't want to be there for more reasons than one. I don't want to be there. I don't want to be there on the bottom. <laughs> All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. Are you ready? Are you ready? All right, round two. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Spinning back fist. Double leg. Stuffed. Oh, he lands a huge knee to the body. That's a crippling shot there. Big, Big knee, knee lands there. You got to check these low leg kicks. Beautiful strike. Oh, he's feeling it now. Nice combination there by El. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, <laughs> if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. Striking classes in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Got to the clinch, controls the posture, and lands some big knees. Oh, big knee! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Single collar tie there. Elkins is lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pocket. Let's go. We need to score that. Now connects with a right. Both fighters here continuing to try to get a more dominant position in the clinch, getting fatigued in the process, I would think. It's very taxing to be chest to chest, a position we call 50-50 because nobody has the advantage. Who's going to be the one to find that one little area that they can expose to give them the slightest advantage? Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Watch knees to the body. Big ball for punch land. Now he gets back to range. 
very nice out. What a fight so far. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work. But he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Huge knee lands from the tie clinch. And they separate. Elkins gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Just unable to quite find that range. Liver kick. And they separate. Look at him with his hip into that kick. So there's that takedown defense on full display yet again. It's held up for him. He does a fantastic job of squaring up his hips, getting his legs back and understanding not to allow his opponent to get going on his takedown finish. Elkins has got a big pool starting to form on the right side of his body. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. And now he's got that tight punch. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Engage in a single collar tie. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of better him than me. Powerful leg kick lands. And they separate. Finish now because he's got to go very back. Oh, and that is it. Referee has seen enough, and maybe so have we. Your winner by TKO. That was a great performance. Way to land those strikes and go and chase down the finish when you get an opportunity. Enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand.